What's up everyone, Coach Blank from Constancy Fitness here, bringing you another edition of Constancy at Home. Today's workout is a 15 minute AMRAP, which means as many reps as possible in 15 minutes of 20 air squats, 10 reverse sit-ups, and 10 push-ups. So with the air squats, first thing we wanna think about, feet right underneath the hips, toes slightly pointed out, chest stays nice and tall, eyes stare off in the horizon, first motion is butt back, drive your knees out, Pull your hips below parallel, stand all the way up. So again, butt back, knees out, hips below parallel, all the way up. If you have a hard time reaching depth, uh, full depth in the squat, going below parallel, I want you to try to just get as deep as you can. So if that's only two parallel, that's fine. Each time, just try to get a little bit deeper and see if we can um, lengthen that range of motion. If that's still too much for you range of motion wise, we can also use a couch or some kind of a chair. What you'll do, set up the same, it's still the same as a regular air squat, feet are gonna be right underneath the hips, toes pointed out. You're gonna step a little bit away from the couch or whatever surface you're squatting to just to make sure you really reach your butt back. So again, reach the butt back, lightly touch the surface and stand all the way up. We don't wanna sit completely down and then rock back to stand up because then we're using our momentum to sit up instead of the muscles and our legs. So again, butt back, touch, and stand. The second movement is a reverse sit up. So with the reverse sit up, you can either hang on to your couch, um, something that's really stable. We wanna make sure that we're not pulling on an entertainment center that's got a really heavy TV that's not stable. Uh, we don't want to pull anything down on top of us and get hurt. So something that's stable and that if you pull on it, nothing's going to happen. You can also use dumbbells or kettlebells or any kind of weight just to kind of keep your uh, weight back in your arms. So we're going to reach back, grab to our surface. Then you're going to bend your legs. And then you're going to focus on pushing this lower back down and to the floor to where you can't slide your hand or anything underneath. From here, you're just gonna bring your knees straight up to your elbows, lower down nice and slow, vertebrae by vertebrae until your hips touch the floor. And then you're gonna rock back up into that position, knees to elbows. Now, if you notice, if I go too far down with my feet and past my hips, you're gonna see my lower back come off the floor we want to avoid that. We want to think about pushing that lower back into the floor the entire time throughout the entire movement. So those are the 10 reverse sit-ups and then you have 10 push-ups. So our push-up setup, our hands are going to be right underneath our shoulders. As we lower to the floor, the elbows are going to stay pinned in nice and tight to our sides. We do not want to flare our elbows out at all. And we also don't want our hands to be super wide outside of our shoulders. So right underneath the shoulders, elbows pinned in as we lower chest all the way to the floor. And then we're going to extend all the way up at the top. So what that'll look like, nice, active, strong plank position, back's nice and flat, butt's nice and tight, belly's nice and tight. You're gonna lower all the way to the floor, elbows pinned into the side, extend all the way up at the top. This can also be done from your knees, same rules apply, elbows tucked in nice and tight, chest to the floor, all the way up. If you're having a hard time getting your chest all the way to the floor, or you're used to doing push-ups where you're not going chest all the way to the floor, what I recommend doing is a hand release push-up. So you'll come down to the floor, take your hands off for a split second, and then drive up through the floor. If you want a little bit more of a challenge with those push-ups, if, if push-ups are one of your strong suits, you can do clapping push-ups. So down to the floor, jump and clap each rep. You could also do an incline push-up where you put your feet up on a couch, some, some type of stable surface, making sure you keep the core nice and tight, lower down to the floor and up. We want to make sure that when we come down, we're not arching our back. That's not good. Stay nice and tight in that plank position, all the way down, all the way up. 
So again, the workout is a 15 minute AMRAP of 20 air squats. So hips back below parallel all the way up. 10 of the reverse sit-ups, making sure that lower back stays on the floor. Roll up and knees to the elbow. And then 10 push-ups. Hope you guys enjoy the workout. Let us know how it goes. If you take any pictures or videos and put them on social media, make sure you tag me and tag the gym and just let us know how the workout went for you. Hope you enjoy the workout. Have a great day.